Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about the Elgamal Crypto System example. For better understanding of the concept, we have taken this example. The clear explanation about the concept of Elgamal Crypto System was made in our previous classes. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, first we have to generate the public key and private key. The receiver system is going to generate these keys. How these keys are generated? Take this example. First, we need to select a prime number P, which is 23. Usually, we have to take a large prime numbers. In our example, we are considering the small one. From this Z23 star, we have to generate randomly select a private key. We call it as D. We call So, randomly we generated 7. You can generate any number. So, and we have to choose E1. E1 is a primitive root of Z23 star. So, primitive root of Z23 star means how to identify primitive roots was discussed in our previous class. 5 is the primitive root. So, using these three values, we are having P, D and E1 value. We have to generate E2 value. E2 equal to E1 power D mod P. So, E2 is 5 power 7 mod 23 which is 10. So, E2 value is 10. So, E1, E2, P are sent as public. These three combinations we call it as public key. Even though you know E2, from E2 identifying D is difficult. D is the private key. D is the private key. Private key is 7. See, we are sending E2 to the sender. Means indirectly this private key is involved in E2. He is going to use that. Even though hackers identified E2, they are not able to identify D. Private key cannot be identified from this because it is a logarithmic problem. So that's why, that's why. So even E2, P can be supported as public key and private key is 7. Once you have this public keys, what happens inside the encryption? Let's do this. In the encryption, if our actual message is 19, during the encryption, he is going to randomly generate a key, R value, which is 3 here. You can generate any number from Z23 star. So, randomly generate 3 value. So, C1 equal to this R value using E1. What we, have, what we are going to do here is C1 equal to E1 power R mod P. E1 means 5. 5 power 3 mod 23 which is 10. So, this C1 is sent to the decryption. Because the R value is indirectly hidden in this 10 value. Because the decryption is going to use this R value. The D value, the, the D value, the private key is indirectly sent to the sender. He is going to use it the same way he randomly generated a value 3. Indirectly he is sending it to the decryption, to the receiver. In order to send that indirectly, he has generated C1. If the, if the hacker knows C1 and E1 value, he is unable to generate this R value because it is a logarithmic problem. And the actual ma message masking happens here. See here, C2 equal to, this is where actual masking happens. M is our message, 19 multiplied by E2 power R. E2 means E1 power D, means E1 power RD mod P. So that's why E1 power RD is our mask, actual mask. It is going to use, multiply with our actual message, the actual masking happens here. So E2 power R means indirectly what we are using here, E1 power RD is used here means here it is using r value here it is using d value also d means private key so that's why that's why this is what happened so 10 power 3 which is 11 value our actual message is 19 e2 means 10 
e2 means the value we got here is 10 and the r value is 3 10 power 3 mod 23 which is you got it as 11 now 10 and 11 are sent as sent to the decryption means de sent to the receiver receiver is going to use this 10 and 11 value and he is going to do the decryption so the receiver got 10 and the receiver already had the d value because it is a private key d value 7 7 is a private key inside this 10 we are having r value e1 power r so he is going to use d and r value to unmask how he is going to do unmask c2 multiplied by c1 power d c1 means e1 power r e1 power rd inverse here for masking we are using e1 power rd if you apply inverse that's it inverse gets cancelled because in the z23 star over multiplication if you do inverse values x x inverse mod p you are going to get one cancelled out this is what happens in algamal system so c1 power d whole inverse the actual mask is happened here c2 inside c2 means m multiplied by e2 power r e2 means e1 power rd e1 power rd e1 power rd cancelled out because here we are using e1 power rd inverse we already discussed this concept in our last class that's why we have not written e1 power rd and all those things just for understanding we are explaining it so c2 means 11 11 multiplied by 10 power 7 whole inverse mod p so first we need to identify 10 power 7 inverse value 10 power 7 mod 23 is equal to 18 18 inverse mod 23 is equal to 11 inverse of 18 is 11 how we are going to identify the inverse value in our beginning cryptography systems we clearly discussed that using euclidean algorithm we can easily identify the inverse value over multiplication this discussion made in the beginning of our cryptography anyhow not only using a euclidean algorithm you can use a Fermat's little theorem also but we have not yet discussed how we are going to identify inverse value using Fermat's theorem but we have discussed about the Euclidean algorithm we go with Euclidean algorithm and identify the in inverse value once you got the inverse value 11 multiplied by 10 power 7 inverse means 11 you got 11 here 11 multiplied by 11 mod 23 which is 19 you got the actual message back So this is the example hope you got a good clarity on algamal crypto system if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you